Hey everybody, my name is Hannah Whitehead and I'm the Honeybee Extension Educator at UMass Amherst. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to do an alcohol wash. Um, so I've got this hive open here, I'm down to the brood box. Um, and, and you're going to want to do an alcohol wash because it's the most effective way to check for varroa mites. Uh, which you definitely have in your colonies, the question is how much. Um, and doing the alcohol wash is the most effective way to see if you need to apply a treatment. So that's what we're going to find out today. And I'll tell you more about that uh, when we get to the second part here. Uh, so the first step in doing an alcohol wash is you're going to get down to your brood box and find a freedom of open brood. All right, so I've got this frame. And when I look on it, it's a mix of capped and open brood, which is perfect. Um, now the next step is you want to look to see if your queen is present. So you definitely don't want to uh, shake her into the alcohol wash. All right. And I'm not seeing her. And if you have a, a partner out in the apiary with you, make sure, try and get both eyes on the frame to make sure you're not going to uh, get her, kill her in this process. All right. So we're ready to go to our next step over here. So I often will set up a little mite wash station a little bit away from the hives. Everybody does this their own way. You're welcome to do it right over your hive if you want. I just find that, especially in later summer and fall when I do this, uh, if you do it a couple feet away, the hive just gets less agitated and it's easier for everybody. So let's come over here to the mite wash station. So I've got a, just a standard dish pan, kind of a bin that you can get it at any uh, standard store. I've got my my wash jar, which is a mason jar, a quart size mason jar uh, with a, uh, um, or actually a, sorry, a pint size mason jar with a uh, lid. And actually this lid is special because I have the normal lid here. Right there. And I also have this bit of mesh which you can find at any hardware store. It's eighth inch hardware mesh. Um, and you just trace out this lid on top of it and you can cut it with a pair of scissors and it fits right in here in your lid. And it, it's gonna allow us to separate out the mites from the bees, so it's really critical. So right now I'm gonna put them all together in here and put it right here. There we go. Um, and then I also have a measuring cup uh, you can use a, you're going to get one a half cup of bees, but I like to use the quarter cup because it fits in the jar better. So I'll just do two scoops with a quarter cup, but you could also have a half cup. And then I have my bottle of uh, alcohol. So you can get rubbing alcohol uh, from the store. Uh, this is 50% ethanol. Um, you can also use window washer fluid. Works really well, but just make sure that it's uh, rated to negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so I've got my ethanol. I poured it into this jar right here. And I'm gonna, very critically, I'm gonna open the jar. This is a classic mistake. You get the bees in the bin and suddenly you realize you have to unscrew the jar. So I've got the <laughs> jar is open. I've got the bin here. And now all I'm gonna do is shake the bees in the bin and take two scoops and put them in the jar. Um, these bees are gonna die, which is unfortunate, but at least, um, they're gonna die for the greater good of the colony. So losing 300 bees is a lot better than losing 20,000 bees. Um, so I'm gonna grab my frame again. I'm gonna look for the queen one more time. It's really nice when you find the queen first in the hive. It, it makes this a lot easier. Okay, so I don't see her again. I've got my bees. I'm gonna do a quick tap and then I'm gonna scoop the bees out. So, ready? shake them into one corner of the bin here and then I take one scoop and two scoops get the alcohol all over them I'm going to take these bees pour them back into the colony and put this frame back Now, I'm keeping the 
hive open because I have some mite treatments ready, so I might apply them if, if I find high mites. So um, I'm going to take my jar and shake it for a minute. I basically just count to 60. Okay, now I've got these bees and the alcohol. I'm going to take off this lid. Take out this part, set it aside. I've got my mesh now. I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to vigorously, very vigorously shake them into this bin upside down. Okay. Pull that bee out of there. All right. So now importantly, I'm actually going to pour this water, this alcohol back in and shake it again because you often find I do that a couple times because you find more mites will come out that way. You don't want to miss those. Okay, so now we can look in the bin here. And I count one, there's a mite here, one, two, oops. So we've got, lost them there. We've got one, two, three, four, five mites in here. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. All right. So what you're going to do with that number is you take that number and you divide it by three. Um, so it's, it's, um, a little bit less than two if we divide it by three. Um, and that's how we get our ratio of mites per 100 bees. So now we have a little bit, uh, less than two mites per 100 bees. Um, so this is actually kind of a borderline case. Uh, if you have more than two mites per hundred bees, you definitely want to apply treatment. Um, because we're getting close to two mites per hundred bees and uh, it's August 20th right now, it's, it's kind of late in the year, um, I will probably apply a treatment at this time, especially because I'm treating other colonies in the apiary at the same time. Um, but this is kind of, uh, uh, yeah, this isn't, this isn't too bad for this time of year. Um, but it's really important to check and, and, and see where you're at. Um, so that's, that's how to do the alcohol wash.